Hey guys, it's Annabelle from the Free M's. Um, it's Motherhood Monday. Happy Easter, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic Easter weekend or bank holiday Monday, should I say. <sighs> so, yeah. It's been an overwhelming, stressful start of the year. I may not... Oh, God. Look at that. I may not be in the home that I own via a mortgage but that doesn't stop me on this journey to becoming a mum before getting pregnant I need to stay fit and today I started that journey to fitness again to getting fit I'm taking these small steps when it comes to taking care of my body and staying healthy um, like I said, monitoring my ovulation and taking multivitamins to keep my female organs healthy was easy. It was easy to stay on budget for it. It was easy to do on a daily routine. That part was the easy part. Obviously, I have already confessed that I need some psychological help in the form of psychotherapy CBT for all of the sort of personal crisis impact on my mental health so yeah for the first time today in a long while I started to get fit like I said I'm taking these small small steps to getting fit and staying healthy and I managed to buy some fresh produce in the form of fresh vegetables and fresh fruit. Um, I'm not restricting anything as yet because I need to speak to a doctor and I managed to register with a doctor's surgery and then I'll speak to my doctor with regards to restricting my diet on this journey to becoming a mum by a pregnancy. <sighs> it's been hard it's been hard to maintain and to strive just to because staying fit I'm going off topic a little bit staying fit during a global pandemic lockdown especially it's not easy and when you don't know whether you're gonna have Wi-Fi or broadband connection or where you're gonna be It takes a decent DVD player. <laughs> and that's what I've been doing to stay fit today. And obviously with groceries and all the bulk panic buying that people have been doing, I'm a bit nervous about keeping a healthy, balanced diet before speaking to a doctor because should I start restricting anything to look after my body and skin and hair and all of that and the female reproductive organs, should I start restricting anything? The panic bulk buying, how am I gonna avoid that? That's a little bit of a worry. Worries me, but this is all about the journey. Me speaking about the journey and documenting what's happening. So I've embarked today on a healthy, balanced diet and I've embarked on a fitness journey. So there are a few extra things I need to stay fit at home whilst I'm vaccinated. So that's something that I, uh, <laughs> that's something I've got to be looking into too. I'm rambling on a bit, I know. Let me just uh, check my notes, is there anything? So I'm, I'm not really nervous about this whole vaccine thing at all. Not at all but nervous about it. But I need to stay fit. Get fit. I've put on so much weight in the last three months. And I think I'm going to take a little picture of how much weight I've put on. I'm going to be honest with myself in the form of a photograph and I'm going to use it in the thumbnail of this video 
and show you guys how much weight I have gained in three months. I guess I've eaten a lot of junk, sugary carbs, and haven't been as active as I should do. Been just confessing to myself and confessing to you guys, the viewers, I haven't been active and I've been hit with fatigue. Some people might call it battle, fa battle fatigue with obviously the personal crisis that I've had to resolve and obviously the shock of life, basically. The shock of life in London. As a single woman who is not pregnant with no dependents, that kind of shock in London has had an impact on my psychological health, my mental health, it has, definitely. So the journey continues, guys. Um, Hopefully next week, I shall be able to stay in budget, healthy and balanced food, and I shall be able to keep a routine on this journey to getting fit before a pregnancy. That is something that's important to me, because should I have a son or daughter, especially a daughter, should they look back on my vlogging, journey to getting pregnant I want them to know that you deserve to look after yourself you deserve to get fit you deserve to stay fit you deserve to take good care of yourself and I do too and this is how I did it when my mental health was impacted on Sometimes the thought and the feeling of the action does scream out to everybody that maybe this person doesn't feel that they deserve, or maybe this person doesn't know that they deserve to look after, get fit, to stay fit, eat healthy, look after nutrition, and look after their mental health. This is this is my journey I'm just basically gonna to have to speak about what happened that I neglected my health my fitness and my diet and nutrition and someday soon I'll probably do a tell-all video of the process that led me to getting so overweight eating a lot of junk, sugary food, all the fatigue, and living with London panic bulk bias. Alright guys, take care.